Have you ever thought about how you create your experience of life? Because life is meaningless. It's a blank canvas and the your thoughts and what thoughts you focus on give you your experience of life. So you feel your thinking, you feel your thoughts. And the more aware of this you become, the more you can kind of step back and notice that, okay, thinking is going on, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, but it doesn't have to affect you in the same way because someone who doesn't know this and someone who is identified completely with their thinking and their thoughts, they are every thought that comes up. So if a thought comes up that says, that person is bad because they don't believe what I believe, then they'll believe that. So, or compared to, or I don't really want to use that word, but in my experience, when when I have thoughts come up, like I notice that my thoughts are judging someone or comparing me to someone else or feeling bad about something, I can watch that. I don't have to get involved in my thoughts. Instead, I can watch it like a TV screen. So, and that's actually a good analogy because our thinking and our feelings are like screens for our experience. And they give you the perspective you have in your life. Now, the more aware of your thinking you become and how your experience is created, the less likely you'll, you'll, it is that you'll be pulled in to that. So you won't get tricked by that. So another good example is, of this is, is someone who's, when I'm watching movies with someone, watching a movie, and they get very into the movie, and whatever happens in the movie, they're very in, in, in it, and they feel everything, Yet I'm kind of the opposite. I'm just always noticing what's going on within me. I know it's a movie. I can still enjoy it, but I'm never as identified in that movie. So that would be another example of being identified with your thinking all the time and then suffering because of that. Because each thought you have, then if you have a thought that that someone doesn't like you or something's gone wrong, then you immediately go into that loop of feeling bad or thinking you need to fix it compared to, again, there's that word. But the other side of that is that you, okay, you have thoughts about that and you can let it be. It's like a TV in the corner where you can let it be. I think Michael Neal used this analogy because he talks about this from his perspective. So he used kind of like the TV in the other room where, okay, your thinking is going on, but you don't really have to focus on that if you don't want to. So we create our own experience by the thoughts that come up, and then we focus on those thoughts. And once you start, once you realize this on a deeper level, so it's not about intellectually getting this, but it's about Kind of like it, it clicking for you and you're seeing, okay, I have these thoughts come up and more thoughts to support those thoughts and I think it's true, I believe in these thoughts and then I act based on those thoughts and it kind of pulls you into it. So, yeah, I've been just observing myself for a very, very long time meditating and diving into all this and this is what I help people with when I work with them. Because it's so easy to get stuck in our own thinking. So if you hate your job, then, I mean, it, it's not, it may not be your dream job, but a big part of that hate may be your thinking about it. Because you think, I shouldn't be here, I'm not happy here, I'm suffering, they don't, my boss doesn't see me, they, I want the way I want him to see me or her. And a lot of that is your experience of that job. Now compare that to someone who doesn't have any thoughts. Or imagine 
you showing up to your job and not having any thoughts about it. You show up, you're completely just there, no thoughts. What would that experience be like? And then let's say you lose your job. What kind of thinking do you believe then? What comes up? And the usual thinking is, okay, this isn't good. When in reality, you don't know what it'll lead to. You may find a much better job with, yeah, much better opportunities may come. But we get stuck in our thinking and are in the fear and, yeah, just stuck. Instead of noticing that, okay, our thinking is going crazy. And just being with that, relaxing in our body and welcoming whatever feelings are going on and noticing our own patterns. And then after a while, you simply notice what's going on. So in my life, I've talked about this before, where I have these themes in my life. I have my own patterns where I used to worry a lot about money and I used to overwork myself and all those things. And now I kind of just notice those patterns. I notice, okay, yeah, here I am, here my mind is worrying about money and I can catch it when it comes in. And when I do that, it doesn't hold any power because it doesn't have time to kind of hook itself into me. So you create your own experience by the thoughts you believe. You don't have to, be, you don't have to change your thoughts or do, do any of that. I just, I personally find it ex exhausting to try to change my thinking. There's nothing wrong with whatever thoughts are in your head. It's more about becoming independent from your thoughts and taking a step back and being able to relax as the awareness that you are, being aware of thoughts and being the awareness from which thoughts arise. So, I'll end things there. So if you like this video, click like, subscribe, visit my website for more on how to work with me and more articles and other good stuff. So, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.